Bree and I have Sade, which is my friend. And we are starting a YouTube channel where basically we will be cooking together. And of course, we're friends and we'll be featuring our other friends making their specialty dishes. Today, we will be making the steak potato inside of a pepper. We call it steak in a pepper meal. So let's get started. For this meal, you'll be needing ribeye steak or steak of your choice, but we prefer you use the ribeye, which is a better quality of steak. You'll be needing peppers. You can use the color of your choice. You'll also be needing a baked potato that we have already pre-baked for an hour in 400 degree oven temperature and asparagus that we have already washed and cleaned. So. With our prime rib, we have already used a marinade on it, which is the signature steakhouse by Lars. Make sure that you marinate it for, it says 30 minutes, but we try to do it for at least an hour because flavor is very important in your meals. So, the first step you want to do is because we've already marinated it, we also added a little bit more seasoning to it, which is our rosemary garlic seasoning. You're going to start the pan. And you're going to grab your little olive oil. Do about a half a tablespoon. And let that preheat. Let's go ahead and prepare our peppers. Shade will start by cutting off the top of the peppers, which I have already mentioned we already washed and cleaned the peppers off. Make sure that you try to cut as less as possible of the top because you don't want to cut off too much. After she has cut the top off, she's going to go ahead and cut the insides out, removing the seeds. You're going to make sure that's fully clean in the inside. Now that we have already cleaned out the inside of the peppers, we're going to go ahead and prepare the potato. By doing so, we're going to make sure that we cut the potato. And we're actually going to dice these into small squares. Make sure that you remove the skin of the potato. Okay, our steak has been cooking already for about three minutes on one side. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over and cook it for about three minutes on the other side. Now remember, we will be putting this in the oven after we fully prepare the pepper. So you don't need to cook it all the way because your steak will dry out. Shada has already seasoned the potato. She has already added a little bit of the rosemary, garlic, parsley, salt, and black pepper. And as you can see, our steak is already done. We're going to cut that up into squares and add it into the pepper. But first, we have to go ahead and cook our asparagus just a little bit. You're going to add a little butter into your pan. And then you're going to add your asparagus right on in. You can eat that raw. Anytime you add your any kind of vegetable in, even though we have already put seasonings on the steak and the potato, you want to give this just a little seasoning, just a little. Because you don't want your vegetable itself to be bland. So you're just going to do a just a shake of salt and just a shake of pepper.
this for about four to five minutes or until you see the asparagus turning green, like a bright green color like this one. Alrighty, now you're gonna add just a little bit of the butter to your potato. They can stay nice and moist. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix that together. And now that everything is done, we're about to get ready and start stuffing the pepper. So the first thing that you're going to do is add your asparagus. You want to make sure that those are in the center. We probably do about three to four, just depending on the size of the pepper. Ahead, and the first thing that we're going to add down is the steak. And after you do the steak, you're going to add just a little bit of the A1 seasoning. Okay. You want to do this because your steak will already be prepared so that you don't have to go ahead and pour it back on at the end. You'll already have your sauce in the inside. So it can be nice and flavored when you cut into it. And then you're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes. With this, you're just gonna kinda of layer it up. And you're just gonna add a little bit more steak. These are a little too long, but it'll work. Now that we have already stuffed our peppers, remember we put prime rib steak, potatoes, and asparagus are in the middle. We halfway cooked the steak already, and we're going to add this to an oven of 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. now we're done with our pepper steak dinners we have already made sure that it was in the oven for about 15 minutes they're hot and ready to serve I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe that we did come up with it's something good that you can serve if your friends are coming over or if you want just a quick dinner between you and your significant other just something quick and easy to make Remember guys, with Cooking With Friends, we're all about homemade meals from scratch. Never canned or frozen.